Hello everyone. Today's topic is sliding window protocol. It is a primary error control protocol. It is a primary error control protocol and it is a method of both uh, error correction and detection as well. So it can be used both in error correction and error detection. And why we use this sliding window protocol is to increase the efficiency of stop and wait. Whereas in the stop and wait, there was a little bit of uh, less efficiency to improvise the efficiency of stop and wait. We use a topic called as sliding window protocol. Okay, and this sliding into protocol are the data link layer protocol. So it is used in data link layer protocol and it is reliable and sequential deliver. Why it is used means sequential deliver of data frames to send our data frames in a sequential manner or a reliable way. So we use a, a topic called as sliding window protocol. Uh, the sliding window is also used in TCP that is called as transmission control protocol. In this protocol, multiple frames can be sent at a time before receiving an acknowledgement from the receiver. Okay, so what happened here in this protocol sliding window without uh, getting any kind of acknowledgement from the receiver side, the senders will be keep on sending n number of frames or the data to the receiver sites. So the term sliding window is refers to the like uh, it is refers to like imaginary box to hold the frames. What is meant by imaginary boxes? Like uh, suppose you have like array size like A of five UPP having. So we will be having a box like zero, one, two, three, four. So the boxes are called as like imaginary boxes uh, to hold that particular frames. Now, the size of the sending window determines the sequence of the number of the outbound frames. So, the, uh, we should be knowing what is the frame size actually. If the frame size we know, then number of sequence of the frame numbers, then also we can be able to know. If we know the size of the frame, then automatically sequence numbers of the frame will be known. If there are n bit of frames, then the sequential number of n bits will be 2 to the power of n minus 1 okay or it, it, the range actually we can say that like range like from 0 to 2 to the power of n minus 1 let us take an example here suppose i said you like frame size like my uh, window size like sending window size or the frame size is 4 then the sequential num number is like 0 1 2 3 4 see here 0 1 2 3 because 1 2 3 4 size is 4 so we are, by default we have started from zero. So it, it came like zero, one, two, three, as you all know this. So, and it will be keep on repeating like zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, keep on repeating the sequential number of the particular frame. Okay, now let me uh, take an example and explain you how the sliding window protocol works. See here, this is a sending uh, sender side and this is a receiver side if i have uh, take an example of frame four like uh, i said in the previous slide uh, if you are taking the frame size as four then what will be the values number of sequences uh, number of the particular frame is zero one two three see here one two three four if my frame size is four then zero one two three four will be the numbers so i said you it keeps on repeating like again zero one two three and whatever the sender is sending exactly receiver will be receiving that messages so if i send my frame size of four and receiver also will be sending uh, the frame size of four like zero one two three four but if i particularly if sender side is sending, if he want to send only particular some frames, like take an example of frame zero and frame one, only this two he want to send to the receiver side, then what happens? See, here how many are there? One, two, three, four. But what the uh, sender want to send? Only two frames. So we have to remove from this particular frame, we have to remove the two frame sets. Okay. I have lifted, I have like removed zero and one what are the remaining here two three so it has been slided or it has been pushed so by leaving these two it has to go forward okay only two and three so remaining what elements are there in my frame size of four only two elements are there because remaining two elements it has been sent so remaining two will be 
sent it to the receiver side so it is see here uh, it is sliding like how you slide your window so if you are pushing from this side it is also going from this side if you are again pushing from this side again it is going from same side so if you push from the right side the receiver also push from the right side like slided uh, slided things so he want to send that two frame set so he he will, we will be leaving two and remaining two will be sending to the frame a uh, receiver set this frame set again if we get an acknowledgement like acknowledged two means two frame sets we have received okay then what will happen when the receiver is sending that acknowledgement then how much it has been sent it to so we need to add two more frames two more sequence numbers and then we need to slide once again so what is the what are the remaining elements first i have earlier 2 3 if acknowledgement is received for 2 it is what it is asking 2 so we need to carry forward remaining two bits here so now total my frame size like 2 3 0 1 again it becomes froze four my frame size is so again if this four again it will be pushing the same same frame size to the receiver end like 2 3 0 1 1 see first condition what we have given frame 0 row and frame 1 and we we have centered like remain uh, after leaving this two we have centered remaining this two again he is asking like one more uh, question or one more thing like only frame 2 we need only frame 2 sent then what will happen in this only we need to send one more frame here two frames he has asked frame 0 and frame 1 now he is asking like frame 2 only send frame 2 so we have left here two here so what are the remaining elements here 301 so again 301 is slide it to the receiver side okay because we have centered 0 1 2 3 so what are the remaining element that will be slided right like same how you slide your window he need only frame 2 we have left here frame 2 he need only 0 1 to be centered we have sent 0 and 1 C A zero and one, and if we are asking two, we are sending like zero, one, two, three. So remaining element will be pushed to the receiver side. Here only two elements are there. Remaining element has been pushed here. So we are getting here two means we have received here two means we need to add two more because here two we have to add two. And here because why? Because two frame sets are there. Here frame two means only one frame set we are pushing here. So only one we have to increase here. So remaining all it has been gone. Now we have to send frame two. so again we have sent here frame 2 so remaining ele elements will be pushed to the receiver side like 301 okay so we will be getting an acknowledgement of like we have received three means what three elements have been received means one frame extra has been added here so how many frames we have, we have sent here one frame so we need to add one more in this so again what the frame size will become four 1 2 3 4 again same will be pushed or slided to your receiver side let me explain you one more time see here my frame size is 4 so if i am pushing the four elements to receiver side so it will be moving as it is but if sender want to send only two frame sets like 0 and 1 then he will be sending only 0 and 1 to the receiver side remaining element like 2 and 3 will be slided to the receiver side okay then if we get an acknowledgement of okay, it that we have received two frame sets then that means that we need to add two more two more elements we have added here okay again this has been sent to the receiver side it has been slided to the receiver side okay again sender has requested one more after uh, sending frame 0 and frame 1 again he want to send like frame 2 also then we have sent frame 2 also so remaining elements what are these 301 301 301 so it has been slided to the receiver side it has been pushed to the receiver side so again we will be getting an acknowledgement that we have received three acknowledged three means three elements are there but how many elements we have sent at the second time one so we need to add one more here again frame size will become like 1 2 3 4 so we have sent it here from so this series will be keep on going n number of times Like how much of your sequence number is there or frame numbers is there? N number of times it will be keep on repeating. Means whatever sender uh, uh, sender moves to the right when acknowledgement is received. 
okay when he is move pushing or when he is moving to the right side when acknowledgement is receiving he is moving to the right side means sender moves right when receiver sorry when the receiver's acknowledgement is received when the receiver acknowledgement is received now on the receiver side receiver will move right again when acknowledgement is sent to the sender okay then the acknowledgement is sent to the sender receiver will move right when acknowledgement is sent whenever it is sent acknowledgement it will move to the right so when it will move right whenever you get the acknowledgement so overall concept is it will be moving to the right side only because slided means pushing the elements okay uh, types of sliding window protocols there are two types of like uh, proto window protocols here and with the help of automatic repeat request we have here so protocols are of two categories sliding window protocols are of two types arq means automatic repeat request okay so in this we have go back and arq advanced repeat sorry automatic repeat request selective request automatic repeat request first one go back and arq what is mean by go back and arq means when the sender is sending multiple frames or multiple data to the receiver side without getting any acknowledgement okay that is called as your sliding window okay the frames are sequential number and finite number of frames are sent if the acknowledgement of the frame is not received within the time of period means when the sender is sending you the number of frames at a time without confirming from the receiver side whether we have acknowledged it or not so it will be keep on sending you finite number of frames at that time what will happen it will get struck so when the acknowledgement is not sent within the period of certain period of time all the frames will be struck there itself so again till the acknowledgement comes it will be wait it will be waited for a certain period of time when the frames are uh, getting an acknowledgement all the frames again start from that at that time so what will happen frame will be retransmitted when when it is not when it will be received a proper acknowledgement then it will start so in the meantime what will happen first it will go and it will get struck there means again it will come back and again it will go go back and so this all process are happened so when it will be get struck it will take certain period of time so it is near waste because it is a like drawback only no because all the frames will be struck there there itself when we get an acknowledgement and we get a proper acknowledgement then all the frames starting from the frames are really transmitted it doesn't only start from there itself again it will transmit all the transmission whatever the frames it has been sent again it will send so it is a little bit of drawback is there okay this type of uh, protocols like go back and end and one more is selective repeat arq this protocol what will happen it is slightly opposite to your go back and uh, go back and protocol because this protocol what will happen it is also uh, it will also send multiple Uh, frames only same as your uh, go back and uh, uh, sliding in the protocol it will also send number of multiple frames without getting acknowledgement for the first time for the first frame also it don't get any acknowledgement but still it keeps on sending multiple frames but whenever it get or lost the frame what will happen it will leave the frame particularly at the time and remaining frame will be send it and whenever we we get the lost frames whenever we have the time and we need to check for the lost frame it will be checked and retransmitted at the time what will happen remaining all the frames will be uh, gone to your receiver side and whatever we have retransmitted na it will go with a good frame and received and buffered so it will be going after some time but it there won't be a certain period of time to stop here so what i mean here like go back and anything we, we in this there is no wastage of time wherever you got you have lost the frame it will leave particular that uh, that frame and it will be continuously sending the remaining frames and whenever the lost frames we got lost frames we got it will be retransmitted with the good frames and received to the receiver side it may be buffered or it will be sent it to the receiver side so there is there is quite opposite to your go back and repeat arq thank you